in California, the two most controversial as far as their legality parts that I think you could put on any guns in the state of California would have to be both the Ledesma Arms Grip for AR-15 style firearms and the CAA Micro Roni Stabilizing Kits for Glock pistols. These two parts alone probably are a total of about 25% of the DMs and emails that I get on a weekly basis. And I've been avoiding answering these questions because I think that generally the answer is very simple. The Ledesma is straight up not legal when you look at any sort of definition as far as what a pistol grip is. And the Micro Roni kits are a little bit more questionable, but personally I would never put one on one of my guns. Now here's the thing, there's a whole lot of caveats, there's a whole lot of nuances, and I think that I need to explain to you you my rationale why I wouldn't personally own these and why I wouldn't put them on my gun. I have gone on record and saying that I would never put a Ledesma arms grip on any of my guns and you could not even pay me to do so. Now let's talk about that one first and then at the end I'm going to talk about the Micro Roni kits because those are also a topic that we need to talk about and it deserves its own time to talk. So the Ledesma arms grip. Basically, I'm gonna show a photo of it here because I don't own one, I would never personally buy one. There's several reasons why, but I'm gonna talk about the non-legal one first. I'm gonna talk about the non-legal reason first, and keep in mind that I'm not a lawyer, this is just my opinion, and it's something that I've seen many people on the internet also confer with, as well as many big manufacturers of featureless parts confer that this is not legal whatsoever. This part is a non-pistol grip. Now, first of all, it straight up looks like a pistol grip because of the molding and the shape that they've given it, so that's automatically, for me, a negative. When you go to their website, or if you try to find them online, they're almost non-existent. And what I mean by that is, there's no articles, there's no video reviews that I've seen from reputable people that I would respect. There are no social media accounts that are active. I believe they have Ledesma Arms 2, where they posted one thing in the past two years. I don't really know what's up with that. When you go to their website, half of the pages that are on the contact, the frequently asked questions, and all the other various info index pages, they're filled with the basic jubble, gumbled up words that aren't actually showing that the site is finished. This company has been around for a long time, but they have no presence on social media, which I know isn't a big deal, and their website is unfinished. For me, that shows a lack of legitimacy. I have also yet to see these... <laughs> I've also yet to see any major manufacturer put these on their guns. I have not seen a single company use these other than apparently the gun shop that makes them, which for me puts a lot of lack of confidence in my mind. And let's move on. Let's move on past the superficial. Let's move on towards the legality of why I would say it's absolutely not legal at all. I'm gonna overlay a photo up in this corner here just showing a diagram. This diagram is from Monster Man. Monster Man is one of the few companies that actually has case law saying that their grip is legal. However, there was a baseline for why it was legal. And let me just pull that up so I can read that to you. The California Department of Justice Bureau of Firearms Special Agent Firearms Division Frank Navarro attest by sworn testimony that the Monster Man grip is not a pistol grip under California law. That was a specific case, and the reasoning that they used was that the web of your thumb, the web, not the fatty, meaty part, not your thumb, not where your thumb goes, not where your finger goes, the web of your thumb is not able to wrap around it and be placed below the exposed portion of the trigger. So where that trigger is hanging out, right inside the trigger guard at the very top portion, if your web of your thumb can be placed below that in a firing position and you can shoot that gun, that makes it a pistol style grasp. So what I'm showing you here is actually a portion of a letter that was sent from Michelin Associates, um, attorney at law. They're a big, they're basically one of the biggest firearms lawyers, especially for the state of California. And when it talks about the Sparrow Dynamic Grips, it says, because the Sparrow Dynamic Grip does not allow for a pistol style grasp in which the web of the hand between the thumb and index finger can be placed beneath or below the top of the exposed portion of the trigger while firing, it is not a pistol grip that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the weapon. As that term is used in the definition of an assault weapon under California Penal Code. So. When we look at those two things, what it is, where can you wrap your thumb? You're probably thinking to yourself, well, if you choke up all the way on it, that's probably fine. And showing this photo from the actual Ledesma Arms YouTube channel, it is fine. When you choke up all the way, your thumb is definitely there. However, it does not say when properly used. If you misuse it by simply shifting your hand down, as we can see in the same video at that same 
As we can see in the same exact video, just seconds later, the demonstrator in the Ledesma Arms own video shows him actually gripping it in a way that is very clearly an assault weapon. It blows my mind that they would be able to say, hey, look, you can't grip it like this, but then he physically does it. These grips aren't legal, people. I know I'm not a lawyer, and I know it's very clear that this might upset you because you've bought your gun. You say, hey, they sold me that gun. It doesn't matter. It's not about what they sell you. If you get caught with something that, A, absolutely looks like a pistol grip, it literally looks like a pistol grip that they got real hot and then bent backwards. This is... <laughs> It's a pistol grip, people. Do not put this on a featureless gun. Do not put this on a featureless gun. I am reiterating again, do not put this on a featureless gun because it is a pistol grip. Okay, moving on. Now let's talk about the CAA Micro Roni kit. For those of you that don't know what this is, basically it's a kit that you would... So basically what the Micro Roni kit is, is a kit that surrounds a Glock 17 or a 19, this is a 34, it surrounds it, adds a pistol stabilizing blade to it, not a stock, I repeat, not a stock, it adds a pistol stabilizing brace that gives you more points of contact. Now, these are more questionable because of a few things. The so because of a few reasons, the micro Roni kits are a little bit more questionable and a little bit less straight up. I can't directly answer. However, personally, I don't think they're legal. But let's look at the definition of an assault weapon for a pistol in the state of California. A semi-automatic semi pistol that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine and any one of the following. So, so if you get your Glock 17 or 19 with a detachable magazine and that this gun is semi-auto and you put it in that micro Roni, there may be some features that you have to worry about. A threaded barrel, capable of accepting a flash suppressor, sound suppressor, forward grip, or a silencer. Basically, we don't got to worry about that. That's a totally separate, not nothing to do with the Roni. B, a second hand grip. A second hand grip. Now, if we look at the front of the Roni, it's designed to be grabbed up here, right? It's got a second hand grip. Now, you can argue maybe that's not a second hand grip, and we'll move past it. That's also still just a questionable one. A shroud that is attached to, comma, or partially, or completely in circles. So a shroud that is either attached to or that encircles the barrel, that allows the bearer to fire the weapon without burning his or her hand, except a slide that encloses the barrel. This right here is not a barrel shroud. This is the slide of the gun. This is not a barrel shroud. This does prevent you from burning your hand because if you grab the slide, you're not grabbing the barrel. But that's not what it's talking about. When we look at the Micro Roni kit, it encircles or it enshrouds completely or partially the barrel. Now, that does prevent you from burning your hand, okay? Is that a barrel shroud? I would say maybe, okay? But the capacity to accept a detachable magazine outside of the pistol grip, we don't got to, we don't got to worry about that because it doesn't affect the function of the gun. The magazine still goes in the pistol grip. That's fine or a semi-automatic pistol with a fixed magazine that has the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds. Again, we don't gotta worry about that as long as you are using detachable magazines and not a fixed magazine in that gun, you're fine. So, the two of the four. So, we, so let's read back the four characteristics of a semi-auto pistol with detachable mags. Threaded barrel, don't gotta worry about it. Second hand grip, I would consider that a second hand grip. A barrel shroud that partially or completely encircles the barrel. I would maybe consider that a barrel shroud. And the capacity to accept a magazine, not gonna worry about that. It's not a fixed magazine, you're good. So here's my thoughts on the Micro Roni, my final thoughts. You can own the Micro Roni, okay? You can have that shipped to your house. You can buy it anywhere. Glock store will not send it to you because they don't wanna sell people things that will directly make their gun an assault weapon. And that's fine. However, you can own the Micro Roni in the same way that you can own a pistol grip. You just can't put one on a featureless gun. This attachment, when you put your Glock in it, in my mind, would make it an assault weapon. Many people disagree. I've seen them on store shelves before. Would I use them? Absolutely not. Would I recommend you use them? Absolutely not. However, what you get caught with versus what you actually do, those are two different things. So if you own them and you are intent on using them, don't transport the gun with it inside it. Keep that separate. Transport your guns legally. Don't get caught with it. Don't let a cop see it. Don't get pulled over with it. I just, w I wouldn't recommend you own these. However, you can legally own them, 
but if you get caught with it on the gun, I wouldn't mess around with that. Now, California does not have constructive intent. So for either of these attachments, the Ledesma or the Roni, there is no constructive intent for the state of California. If it is not assembled in a configuration that is an assault weapon, it's not an assault weapon. You can have an upper and lower receiver of a gun that the state would consider an assault weapon sitting right next to each other, that's fine. You put them together, assault weapon. It's just how it works. So I kinda just wanna wrap this up real quick. Ledesma arms, absolutely never put that on your gun. Never put it on your gun unless it's a fixed magazine gun and at that point use a regular pistol grip. Never use the Ledesma arms. That is my hard and fast. I will never recommend you do it. I can never put this on one of my guns in good faith. I can ne never in good faith let someone have one of these without educating them about why they're not legal. Two, the Micro Roni. Feel free to own these, you know? It's not illegal to own them and that's fine. Some places won't sell it to you, some will, that's fine. I personally would never put them on one of my guns in the state of California. So that's up to you. If you want an alternative to the Micro Roni, you can get one of those Endo Tactical stock adapters that just slips right into the bottom, slips onto the top. I'll show a photo here. And then you can put a pistol stabilizing brace on that. That could be fine. However, the Micro Roni's, in my mind, not legal to put on your gun. So I hope that answered your questions. I get asked this probably at least four to five times a day, and I kind of just wanted to get it out of the way. I've been meaning to talk about it for a while. It's just one of those things that keeps getting pushed off because it's not crucial. This isn't a major important topic, but I just want to get it out there because I got tired of asking. So if you have any questions, if you disagree, feel free to describe why. Feel free to provide documentation that backs it up. However, I feel that my points are pretty solid. So as always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace. I know it's become a meme at this point, but this is not legal advice. If you are assuming that this is legal advice, that's on you. I'm not a lawyer. I've never pretended to be a lawyer. In fact, I go out of my way to look less professional on camera so that you don't assume that I'm giving you legal advice. So, cheers.